Deep in the misty forests of the eastern Himalayas and southwestern China, there lives an animal that most people think they know, but really don't. Meet the red panda, an adorable creature often overshadowed by its more famous and much larger relative, the giant panda. However, once you get to know the red panda, you'll quickly realize this charming, raccoon-like creature is in a class of its own. Not only is it full of surprises, but it's also far more mysterious than it lets on. A quick introduction to the red panda, first things first. Despite its head's name, the red panda is not closely related to the giant panda. While both share bamboo-heavy diets and similar habitats, they belong to entirely different animal families. The red panda is actually the only living species in its family, Ailuridae, and its closest relatives are weasels, raccoons, and skunks. In fact, the red panda was discovered decades before the giant panda, back in 1825, making it the original panda. That's right, the giant panda is just riding on its namesake's coattails. Red pandas are small, typically weighing between 8 to 14 pounds, with thick reddish-brown fur, a bushy striped tail, and a face that looks like it was designed for maximum cuteness. Their striking appearance is not just for show, though. It's their camouflage. In the dense forests where they live, the reddish-brown hues help them blend in with the moss-covered trees and reddish-brown lichens. A master of stealth, while red pandas might look like they'd be the life of the party, in reality, they're extremely shy and elusive creatures. They spend much of their time alone, roaming the high canopies of trees, using their bushy tails for balance. Unlike most mammals, red pandas are crepuscular, meaning they're most active during dawn and dusk, avoiding the intense midday sun. They've mastered the art of stealth, often going unnoticed by both humans and predators. In fact, if you were lucky enough to encounter a red panda in the wild, it's likely you wouldn't see them coming or going. Their specialized paws, equipped with sharp claws and a false thumb, a modified wrist bone, like the giant pandas, allow them to climb with agility. They can even descend trees headfirst, a skill that makes them expert escape artists. It's as if they've taken a page from a ninja handbook, only their secret weapon is cuteness instead of throwing stars. Bamboo is life, but it's complicated. Despite their carnivorous ancestry, red pandas are largely bamboo specialists. Like the giant panda, bamboo makes up the majority of their diet. However, there's a catch. Bamboo isn't particularly nutritious, so red pandas need to consume a lot of it. And I mean a lot. They spend up to 13 hours a day eating bamboo, with their specialized gut bacteria helping them break down the tough plant material. But here's where things get interesting. While bamboo is their go-to meal, red tap pandas are opportunistic eaters. They won't hesitate to snack on fruits, berries, acorns, or even the occasional bird egg if the opportunity presents itself. It's like they're saying, I'm a bamboo connoisseur, but I'll happily take a side dish of berries if you have any. The red panda's social life, or lack thereof. One surprising fact about red pandas is that they're mostly solitary animals. Unlike many mammals that live in packs or family groups, red pandas prefer to live alone. Each red panda has its own territory, and the only time they come together is during the breeding season. Even then, the interaction is brief, as they quickly go back to their solitary ways. After a few months, the mother raises the cubs on her own, nurturing them for about a year before they set off on their independent journeys. While red pandas aren't big on social interaction, they do have a creative way of communicating with one another. 
They mark their territory using scent glands located on the bottom of their feet and around their anal region. They'll rub trees, rocks, and even the ground with these glands, leaving a message for other red pandas in the area. In essence, their scent markings are the red panda equivalent of social media posts. Except instead of posting photos or status updates, they're leaving a scent that says, this is my tree, find your own. Surprising facts you didn't know. Red pandas are incredibly temperature sensitive. They thrive in cool, temperate climates and are highly susceptible to heat. Anything above 77 degrees, 25 degrees, is too hot for them. And they'll spend their time lounging in the shade or lying flat on a branch to cool off. They've mastered the art of the midday a siesta long before humans did. They have one of the lowest birth rates among mammals. Female red pandas give birth to only one to four cubs per litter. And the survival rate of the cubs can be low due to their harsh environments and habitat loss. This is part of the reason they are considered endangered. Red pandas use their tails like blankets. During the cold Himalayan winters, red pandas curl up into tight balls and wrap their long bushy tails around their bodies to stay warm. It's basically the animal version of snuggling under a thick comforter on a cold night. Conservation and the challenges ahead. As adorable and charismatic as red pandas are, their population is unfortunately on the decline. There are estimated to be fewer than 10,000 individuals left in the wild, primarily due to habitat destruction, deforestation, and illegal poaching. Conservation efforts are underway to protect these unique animals, but they face significant challenges due to the growing human population in their native regions. Thankfully, red pandas have also so become ambassadors for conservation in zoos around the world. These breeding programs help raise awareness about their plight and contribute to maintaining healthy populations in captivity. Conclusion, the Zen of the Red Panda. In many ways, the red panda is a model of balance and adaptation. They've managed to carve out a niche for themselves in one of the most challenging environments on Earth, relying on bamboo, their climbing prowess, and their elusive nature to survive. They remind us that sometimes the smallest creatures are the most resilient, and that, like the red panda, we can navigate life's challenges with a combination of quiet determination and a flair for the unexpected. And let's be honest, if the idea of spending your days quietly munching on bamboo in the treetops sounds appealing, then maybe the red panda has it all figured out.